there was an understanding of, okay, 9-11 happened, America was traumatized, they <laughs> made some decisions, the Iraq war, this globe, but toward the end of the second term or during the second term, America kind of got its bearings and there was kind of a rational sense and America was back. If we didn't always agree with the Bush administration, there was at least a sense that there wasn't a drunk driver. Um, and then Obama came and, and, and people loved him, so it was kind of like, all right, let's, let's give it another shot. Trump is different because a country that elects Donald Trump can elect another Donald Trump. So my sense is it is, I mean, other countries are already starting to hedge in their thinking about maybe they have misunderstood what America is about. In my view, one of the most dangerous ideas in this city is that Donald Trump is a break from the status quo rather than a product of the status quo. We need to think harder um, about the previous 20 years, especially post 9-11, about a discourse that demonized Muslims, a discourse that demonized is, uh, immigrants, and, and put immigration inside a securitized frame. I think climate change is a, an issue that you know, is not only extremely important and, and challenging in its own right, it's something that makes all these other issues harder. You know, issues of uh, resource depletion, of, of migration, of immigration, and some of the, uh, you know, um, the tension that arrives when large numbers of people are forced to leave and go into, into, into cities. So I think, you know, re-engaging, first of all, in Paris as a kind of floor of what we can do. I mean, it was an enormous achievement. It was a huge mistake of Trump, obviously, to pull out of Paris, but I think we need to see that as a baseline of what we need to do.